Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I am Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. I want to welcome you to the place I affectionately call the House of Smoke, high atop Appliance Mountain on Central Avenue. I'm standing in front of arguably my favorite gas grill, that's the Alfresco, the ALXC 42, lit up, looking oh so good, ready to do its thing. Um, I reconnected with mine. Uh, I have a lot of videos out there which you may or may not have seen already and I took a little bit of a sabbatical from the Alfresco. I had some other outdoor cooking avenues to explore and uh, but I've reconnected with it again and I wanted to talk about it because as I am on the sales floor or on the phone and talking with all these uh, grill customers or outdoor kitchen customers um, you know we get into this conversation about how you cook and the one thing that continues uh, to come up is flare-ups and flare-ups being the bane, the bane, not the Batman character, the bane of the outdoor cooking enthusiast's life. And I'm here to kind of to debunk that, all right, because flare-ups have their value, we'll get into that. But what I want to talk about is how, because this gets asked a lot, well, Jonathan, what do you think, what grill handles flare-ups the best out of all the gas premium grills and for me that answer is very simple it is the alfresco and i can speak with knowledge because i've owned many of them i've owned a twin eagle slash wolf i've owned you know the lynx the dcs the alfresco um i've cooked on many of the other ones and to me the way that the alfresco handles flare-ups is by far the best we'll get into that now so let's define a flare-up okay i may have even done this in a video in the past my old age is getting to me. Um, a flare-up by nature is something that is good, okay? Flare-up is when your grease, fat, whatever it may be, hits the burners, hits the briquettes, hits whatever it hits that's really hot, and then poof, we get flame. So a flare-up is actually a good thing, and it's actually encouraged by the grill manufacturers because what happens is that a flare-up will flavor your food, okay? Um, whether it's releasing a flame or whether it's releasing um, smoke, um, that's a good thing. The problem with a flare-up is when it turns into a sustained flare-up. That's a problem. So we want a flame, a, a flare-up, a flame kiss. I've heard it described as that in other places. Um, uh, but a sustained flare-up is a bad thing. We don't want that because that's what will turn your food into carbon. So, who handles it the best? I've had, uh, this grill I'm going to leave unnamed and I'll tell you who it is if you come into the showroom. I had a grill at one point that had, I had such flare-ups and it was a ceramic briquette system. There were such flare-ups I was seeing, I'll never forget this, there was a skirt steak and a marinade that I made and I had a flare-up that went from the grate to the top of the canopy. Insane, dangerous. Um, we don't want that. Uh, what I like to see, and there's some videos or probably some footage that's rolling by now, I like the way the Alfresco, because of their cooking system with the briquettes, they do an incredible job of controlling the flare up. So they're harnessing it, and it's something that's good because it's, it's, it puffs up and then it goes down again, it gets suppressed just enough to kiss that food, to lend it, to accent it with flavor, and then poof, it goes away. And the reason they can do that is because of their briquette system, which is just phenomenal. First of all, if you look at the briquette tray, there, isn't, there, there aren't any gaps in between them which is gonna allow a flame to get up and just wreak havoc. I mean, there, is, there are gaps that are actually between the bottom of the briquette and then the tray that it's in. But if you look at some of the competition, I'll think, I mean, the Lynx is one that comes to mind right away. There are some gaps in between the briquettes. I mean, I'm sure the folks at Lynx are going to tell you that that's designed, there's a, there's a logic behind the design. Heston, 
the newest engine into the high end, uh, the premium gas grill marketplace, they have, they, not only do they have gaps, they have holes drilled into their tray. I don't know why. I don't know why they did it, to be honest with you. I'll have to call them up over there and have a conversation. I think I did bring it up once about a year ago. I didn't really get a clear answer on it. But that to me is fodder to just let a flame go rushing in and do something that we don't want. So what the alfresco did is that the briquettes are tight together so there isn't a lot of real estate or room or oxygen for that matter for that flame to get up there and do bad things. The other thing that alfresco has done, and this is actually designed that they do share with Lynx, is that if you look at the alfresco briquette, it is five-sided. Why is that a good thing? Because what happens is on a five-sided briquette, it is radiating the heat out in five different directions instead of a flat briquette, which is going to bring heat directly straight up to the food, which could get overwhelming. So when somebody says who's going to have the most even heat across the cooking surface, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be the alfresco and probably the Lynx as well because of the five-sided briquette. I can tell you right now, I know the Heston does not. It's a flat briquette. Um, and I'd have to check on the Wolf. I don't remember. I don't think it's five-sided or the Twin Eagle. Um, Fire Magic doesn't even use a briquette system. So the five sides of the briquette, as well as their tight configuration with one another, that is the way to go. I have spent many, many, many hours in front of my Alfresco grill with all types of things on it cooking away, and I could tell you, I have never had a raging inferno going on in the thing, except for one or two times that was total pilot error, and it was because I mishandled the rotisserie. That is a whole other video, folks, and quite entertaining at that, because I nearly blew the grill up. So to sum things up, who is going to do the best job of flame suppression, flare-up suppression, and also as, a, as an added benefit, because of the briquette design, oh yeah, we're getting great even heat across the cooking surface, it's the, it's the Alfresco cooking system. And that's another reason why the Artisan grills are selling so much now, because the Artisan, they changed, that, that's the baby brother of the Alfresco. The Artisan changed their cooking system off, they used to have these like ceramic dog biscuits. They were horrendous. They were ugly to look at and they didn't work well. And now they've changed over to uh, the same ceramic briquettes that the Alfresco uses. So now we're getting nice even heat across the Artisan as well. And that's one of the reasons they're picking up in such popularity for a price point move. That's it. I'm done. I'm not standing here for 10 minutes tonight rattling uh, things off to you about briquettes. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me, jonathanacurtos.com. Or people, please come in, visit Connecticut, New Jersey, all over the tri-state area. You are so welcome here. And um, we're here to serve. Remember that. Thank you.